Hello everyone, this is Serenis here, back with another Halo 4 video for you guys today. Since I said I'd be doing more of these guys, I'm sort of uploading the Halo 4 Road to 50 series for MCC. Um, as I said before guys, you know, like these are just a collection of nice games I got. Um, <clears throat> I uploaded the best ones on my channel against really good teams um, for Halo 4 MCC, but, and uh, you know, the main 50 game being against... Uh, the best 50 game if you like being against Warstar XBL on their team. But here we go guys with more of my unseen Halo 4 MCC content. This is one of the uh, first wins um, that I got whilst I started playing this uh, playlist actually. Uh, starting to rank up so of course it's against this sister you, um, one of my best friends. Um, <laughs> no, one of my most hated rivals on the game guys and also up market put in Dean the Hero was searching with him as well so they were a free and I was searching with Nosh Excels and his friend uh, Jojo who I didn't really know that well um, at the time this game so um, for me it was kind of like a, a bit of a week free to take these guys on you know only really knowing Nosh um, and also uh, we had two randoms on our team so did they um, so for our randoms we got enemy warlord which was a bit convenient um, <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was quite funny uh, because he's actually friends with all these guys and uh, you know it's quite funny to get him on our team um, and obviously with that being said you know obviously wanting to win um, he's obviously going to want to win this game as well to um, really annoy uh, Matt I guess the sister you because uh, sister you and I like uh, you know hate each other um, so <laughs> so it's really funny to actually uh, play this um, but you know it was a really good game to play regardless um, but I will, that being said, guys, you know, like the HG lot are really good at, um, well, were, were really good and still are, I guess, um, at Halo 4 CTF. Um, you know, most of the time I would uh, drop games to them. They were really good at Halo 4 CTF. As much as I hate to say it, they were. Um, but I never really played them in anything else on the original game. Um, I played a few of their members in doubles a few times and took games there, but I hadn't really played them like in anything else like Slayer or um, you know objective game types like this other than Flag. Um, so it was interesting to do that um, in this game because the results were quite uh, different to what they used to be in uh, Halo 4, I guess, um, when you play them with the full squad in CTF. So at this point, guys, you know, playing a bit of uh, Pitfall, King of the Hills, so... Both teams are trying quite hard this game, um, obviously Dean as well is another player that um, I'm pretty good friends with, but back in the old, old days of Halo 4 I had rivalries with him as well. Um, I think I only ever lost to Dean once, which was this uh, flag game that he got annoyed with me about, um, <clears throat> and that's the first time like Dean and I had a bit of uh, rivalry. And then I matched him in doubles with Matt and uh, beat him in Hawkers, so this was a <laughs> long time ago now, it's like ancient history, but... Um, that, that's what happened and then we sort of became friends after that but uh, it was really funny at the time because he was bashing me for that uh, CSR quit that I did when I was uh, you know, annoyed that we lost or whatever but that was such a long time ago and since then I don't think I've ever lost to Dean um, in Halo 4 so obviously I had to keep that up as well um, so you know like in this game I didn't want to drop the game as well obviously because there was a strong chance that I could have been perhaps uploaded by either uh, the sister you corner possibly or Dean, so I had to I had to win this one. Um, pretty big game, um, and obviously I was uh, you know getting quite heated up with my teammates like Nosh and Jojo because I wanted them to be really aggressive on this team um, because our market put in doing what he does best was really slaying quite hard this game. He always slays really hard in objective, so um, that was sort of shutting me down a bit in terms of doing the objective. Um, Obviously for this game I didn't really slay that well because I was just going for the objective. I wasn't uh, you know, really caring about anything else. Um, had we have had sort of more members or a more coordinated team, um, I would have had people like slaying properly in this game. This this is like objective uh, done badly if you like. But like well well like done well, but you know <laughs> just to get the scrappy win, um, you know, it always reminds me of the fact when we played um, like War Game or War, War Star XBL as he's now known and uh, their full team in CTF back in the day um, against our full team in CTF which was like Bear, Sun, uh, Poke and uh, myself as well and I think I think Clarky was there with us at the time and um, we did actually win against them but it was the most death capping game I've ever seen like we were absolutely battered and bruised from that game in terms of slaying and uh, we still managed to win so I mean if you can do that in Halo 4 and still clutch out the win uh, that's a really great achievement obviously it's not the most uh, you know, great win to watch in terms of the um, 
kills and death ratio, like obviously it seems like you're dying a lot, but the fact that you can still clutch out the objective and win against a team that can really slay, like just shows that the enemy team weren't getting it right in the objective uh, plays. So for, for them in this game, Assisting You is probably objective uh, mastermind. He's the one that will try to, um, you know, coordinate most of the objective effort. Um, Dean's quite a good player as well. Um, upmarket put in just with the snipes into the thing. So you can see it's a bit of a blood fest in this game, guys. But I just had to sort of try and do as much as I can for us um, in terms of the hill time. And uh, trying to kill as many as I can each life, you know, to stop them from pushing in on the hill. So that was my sort of plan for this game, you know, putting some nice shots there. But again, getting sniped by what's probably put in. Um, so, you know, just doing all I can. But in this gameplay as well, like, um, the Sister Union's team had all the sort of... I would say they had more of the hills in their favour, so there was that, like, difficulty as well for our team. Um, you know, I had to kind of, like, you know, really rush them quite hard um, at times in this gameplay in the video because... Otherwise, we weren't getting any hill time. Um, so, you know, we had to sort of keep up the pressure on them um, to get this win. So, even at this point, you know, if I can't get time, I'm trying to contest as much as possible, trying to get all scrappers of time that I can. Um, knew I wasn't going to get that kill, so I just, you know, get a melee or try and trade the kill um, so the guy can't, you know, stay in the hill. Um, so, that's a nice bit of play as well. And I'm just looking to contest, guys, until the next hill comes up. Nice BR kill there. At this point, you know, put some maids down to uh, stop them rushing mid green. But as you can see, you know, um, that hill is obviously really fair. Um, <laughs> right on their flag side, so we're going to have to push in here. Fortunately, I can't get past um, the uh, HG lot. I think that was put in that killed me again. Um, so that's really unfortunate. You know, obviously, with objective, you have to go to them wherever it is. Um, so sometimes uh, you might die a bit more as a result of that objective uh, rush. So. I definitely had to sort of push in a bit more on them. Um, getting myself a sword here, which is decent. Um, I'm going to see quite a funny kill on a sister year in a moment. I think he has uh, rockets coming in here. Um, now, like, sword in Halo 4, like, isn't really um, the greatest of power weapons, actually. I wouldn't suggest using it in Halo 4 if anyone's going to still play this game. Um, but it's not really, you know, it's not really the best power weapon to use. Um, definitely shotgun is much more... Um, worthy of being used on a sword because I don't know, sword in Halo 4 just never really stuck out to me as a good power weapon. Um, you know, it's decent if you're very right close up to the person, but um, I don't know, I just didn't really like the sword in Halo 4, so definitely as opposed to that get the shotty. Uh, but you know, probably a bit of a bad play by me to jetpack up to the flat to try and finish him with a sword, like relying on it too much is what I was trying to say. Um, so at this point guys, they're going to push in on the uh, long pool hill. Really nice place we're making here, kill them assist, that's going to be huge. Imagine to get all the uh, scrap bits at time. These hills are quite hard to get a lot of time from because obviously they're joint in the middle of the map with the other team. So um, obviously because of the small area, um, nades are going to come in a lot um, at this hill. Also the one in mid green as well. So any time that you get here is a really big bonus. I was trying to get all the time possible in these hills, um, you know, hoping that later on one of the hills would spawn on our side, like our flag or something. So I think that, that made the win against the Sister E. This is the first time I played him as well um, in Halo 4 MCC. So I think the fact that the hills were spawning their side most of the time um, made it all that more sweeter for me. So I was really happy that we got that. Um, we only get one lucky hill which is towards the end but I felt we deserved that because of where all the other hills have been placed throughout the map so <laughs> I don't know. Um, so at this point guys like looking to slay more as well, look, looking to put more pressure on the team as you can see both teams again um, you know, close to the uh, uh, maximum amount of hill time. I think the blue team having a slight edge in this game so we're definitely trying to put more pressure on them. I'm trying to do as much as I can. Uh, by staying in the hill, trying to, you know, slay as much as possible. Using the bolt shot is an effective weapon, obviously, you know, if you're close to the um, side, you know, edge of their side of the hill. It's a good place to stand there as well sometimes to avoid nades. Um, you're not going to survive for very long in the mid-green hill, but it's just worth, you know, like, trying to get a kill or a double kill in there whilst getting some time that's going to be really huge. As you can see, really nice uh, double. Uh, nearly got the triple on Dean. If you hadn't had this shot you there, I think I... I would have had that triple kill, so that was unfortunate. Um, so at this point, guys, as you can see, this is a pretty convenient hill for us. I just happen to be in the vicinity, and that's the, that's the thing with King of the Hill on Halo 4 as well. There is no way of actively setting up for them. They're completely random, so 
Um, you have no idea where they're going to spawn, but luckily for us, this was a, <laughs> this was a great hill. As you can see, we're all sort of happy inside right here. I've got the sword, so that's going to be really useful. They can't really do too much um, at this point. Um, try to stay sort of undetected, so you know as they come around, they won't know exactly where I am. Um, as you can see, we've got three of us in here. I think, um, I'm not sure if any of you Warlords in here as well. I can't really see on the preview screen, but if he is, it's quite funny. Um, yeah, he is in here. Um, so, you know, like, we're all just sort of celebrating, you know, getting so much bloody time from that sword room. <laughs> from our sword room. That was pretty sweet. I was really happy with that. It was one of the uh, turning points of the gameplay. And we actually did take the lead at this point, so that was really uh, great. And at this point, guys, you know, just putting myself in the middle of the map because I have no idea where that final hill is going to be. And luckily for us, well, it's on their side again, funny enough, their original spawn. Um, and we happen to already be over here. Um, had it spawned at the other flag side, I would have run through and tried to get what time I could. Um, but it looks like this will be the last hill of the game. They can't stop us here. As you can see, a sister U has to rush in, but can't do anything right there. And uh, it looks like he's about to lose Serenity. He's his arch rival nemesis. He can't stand. And it doesn't look like they're going to get any time as Serenities and this random team are going to close out the match. And uh, they get the last scrap bits of time. That's a nice Alpiar kill that he gets there. And a nice way to stay alive from Serenities there. And that is going to be the game, folks. So Sister U getting bagged by enemy Warlord and <laughs> Market Fit in. So that's, that's a funny win, guys. I hope you enjoyed that um, gameplay. Uh, it's my first one against the Sister U. Um, I think I'm going to replay it back here for the enemy war, or warlord uh, teabag. But this was the first time I played Assist EU in uh, Halo 4 MCC, and obviously him losing, um, he was not <laughs> happy about that. I can tell you um, he's the type to rage. So um, it was quite a funny game, this one. Quite a weird matchup to get, especially getting enemy warlord on your team. But here we see him with the teabag action fully on point here. <laughs> So guys, I hope you enjoyed my second video of um, my Halo 4 MCC antics. Uh, this was Serenis, guys, and I will see you next time on the uh, next video. Bye, guys.